Top five summer date movies. We've got them, we're breaking them down, and let me tell you, these flicks will make the rom-com loving chick happy and the man's man ecstatic. Now, there's nothing better than a summer fling, except for maybe that old school love that Ed Sheeran sings about, but whether you met out in front of your grandma's beach house just last week or you've been dating for 10 years, these movies are the creme de la creme when it comes to summer 2014 date movies. First up on my list, let's talk the ultimate rom-com, Sex Tape, starring Cameron Diaz and Jason Segel, that comes out on July 25th. Now, it's so typical, but so perfect at the same time. Basically, here's a plot if you didn't figure it out from the title. A cute married couple makes a little sex tape, only to wake up to find it missing. Ah! Let's film ourselves having sex. That's a great idea. This is your best idea ever. Hello. And welcome to an evening with Annie and Jay. Honey, where is that video? Cue the perfect date movie that will make you laugh, make you cry if you're a little extra emotional like myself, and will leave you with ample talking points post movie. I mean, hello, Hollywood sex tape scandals, there are tons of them. And that will segue you into that glass of wine or ice cream sundae for the always needed date night extension. Next up, a guy's flick that any girl will love, hitting theaters early summer on May 2nd, The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Men, first on your list of persuasion points, make sure your lady knows that Andrew Garfield is the star. That should probably help more than she'd like to admit because every girl in the world, including myself, is in love with that man. And second, forget for a minute that it's a comic. It's really a freaking love story. Check out this moment between Gwen, who is played by Andrew's real life girlfriend, Emma Stone, and Peter Parker, AKA Spidey. I'm coming with you. Gwen, it's too dangerous. Sorry, I love you, don't hate me. Peter! Now what couple can't relate to that? All right, next up on our list of best summer 2014 date movies, one that is close to my heart, so near and dear, The Fault in Our Stars, which is coming out on June 6th. Pack your Kleenex for this date night. I'm not kidding. And men, if you really want to impress your ladies, let the tears flow. Starring Shailene Woodley and Ansel Elgort, this is a movie adaptation of the popular book all about two teens who fall in love at a cancer support group. What's your name? Hazel. What's your full name? Hazel Grace Lancaster. Why are you staring at me? Because you're beautiful. If that isn't enough to stir up all kinds of emotions, I don't know what is. But having read the book myself, this date night will bring you belly laughs, it will put life into perspective, and it will bring you closer in love with the person in the seat next to you. That, my friends, is a promise. That brings me to numero four, something a little, actually like a lot more lighthearted, Jupiter Ascending. This is a date night movie all about aliens. Yep, you heard me, but it is starring two gorgeous A-listers, Mila Kunis, who was a queen and didn't know it, and Channing Tatum, who is sent to keep her safe. Make sure this is the right one. It's her. Good. Kill her. Team was. I made a hope. So that's not enough to make both parties involved in this date night happy. Well, you're basically a lost cause, and I don't know what to tell you. This flick hits theaters July 18th. Okay, last on our list, a classic raunchy, and I'm talking raunchy comedy with a little bit of loving. A million ways to die in the West, brought to you by the one and only Seth MacFarlane. I would like to welcome a new member to our community. Welcome to our awesome town. What's with this fair? Every year, people die. Really? Everybody hold still. People die at the fair. People die at the fair. This flick is not without your awkward moments and crazy jokes. So if you don't have a little time under your belt as a couple, I might wait to see this until it hits on demand. First date movie, probs not a good idea, especially if his or her mother decides to chaperone. But I'm really hoping you're not in one of those kind of relationships. But if you do need more love in your life, check this out. We played Wed, Bed, Dead with a cast of Divergent. So click right here to see all of that awesomeness and make sure you're subscribed by clicking right here so you don't miss a beat. And thanks for watching my summer movie breakdown. Hope you go catch a few and let me know in the comments what you think when they come out. I'm Brianna Baxter and I'll see you next time.